two casts loaded up pretty good wouldn't the efficient trip I, I didn't start with a tangle in my braid right I just dunked my pen pursuit 2 reel completely under the water for quite a long time fish on oh I lost him darn it all right we had a hit we had a hit on the big Mahara Mahara Hara oh my god as soon as it hit the water all right we got fish we got fish as soon as it hit the water he grabbed it cool well there he is lady fish <laughs> I lost him that was like three casts and three hits man come on don't be wimpy there he is come on get it dude gotta be ladyfish stole my bait stole my friggin bait dang it yeah i'm wading about waist deep right now there he is there he is come on we got him that time finally whoa hey it's a little jack a little baby jack here comes the blood a little shark attractant there that's what's stealing my bait there he is fish on baby we got fish we got ladies we got ladies and jacks. I lost him. Darn it. That was a hit. There he is. What do we got? Another lady. Little lady all. Man. Man, these guys are hungry out here. Every cast, I'm getting a hit. It's every cast, baby. There he is. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Oh, we got off. Probably attracting sharks right now. I get him. There he is. Yeah. Lady, lady. Oh, he got off. All right, we got to make a, I got to change this hook. Barb on this hook is just not doing the trick here. Well, we definitely got ladyfish. Ladyfish and a little jack. Be nice to hook up with a snook or a Spanish mackerel. I think I just had a hit. Oh, I missed him. Dang it. Woo, baby. Big waves. Come on now. It's a hit. It's a hit. There we go. Fish on. It's a better fish. Oh, I lost him. Dang it. Fishing's good at the beach, man. Fishing's good at the beach. There he is. Oh, ladyfish. There we go. Definitely a ladyfish. Maybe not. Oh, a little jack. Little jacky. Thanks for the catch. See ya. Can't seem to catch a big fish here. Come on. So, guys, this is what I'm fishing with right here. Greenback shiners. There he is. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Might be a Spanish. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Spanish mackerel. Nice, baby. Check it out. Whoa. Well, Spanish mackerel. All right. Jack's ladyfish in Spanish. Sweet, baby. Oh, I didn't check my leader. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Little lady. Little lady. It's like the perfect snook bait right there, man. Woo! Gotcha. See ya. Oh, I just took one for the team, baby. Woo! Hey, Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Well, you guys, we were fishing the surf today. I've been out here for a little while getting on some jacks and ladyfish, Spanish mackerel, having a great time. The greenbacks are out here, just casting at them up, man. All it takes is a couple casts. You got plenty of bait. Bait, plenty of bait, bait, plenty of bait. So let's get on it. There's a hit. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Another mackerel. Oh, I lost him. Dang it. That was another Spanish right there. Darn beach fishing is hard work, but it is so much fun. So much fun. There he is. There he is. Fish on. Little lady. Got the little lady fish. Hey, thanks for the catch, girl. See ya. There we go. Oh, we hit it hard. Feels like a jack. Might be wrong. Might be wrong. Spanish. Another Spanish. Spanish are in on the beach. Check it out. Big old Spanish mac. I love this time of year, man. We're gonna keep this guy. Do a little catch and cook. There he is. 
Another good one. Well, he ain't all that big, but feels like a good fish. Another Spanish. Oh, little Jackie. There he is. Ladyfish time. Little lady. Oh yeah, it's gonna be every cast now. Sunset by see ya. There he is. Oh I missed him. No, I didn't. There he is. It's shown. It's shown. It's shown. What do we got? Another Spanish. Definitely need two for dinner. Gorgeous out here, man. Gorgeous. Woo! The big lady jumping all over the place, huh? It's your own. It's your own, baby. It's your own. Little Jackie. Little Jackie. Little adventure is almost over here, guys. It is. The sun has pretty much set. The bite, will, the bite will keep going here for about another 15 or 20 minutes. Once that sun goes down, it they, they just, there we go, tend to shut off. Ladyfish time. Woo! It, it's every cast, man. Ladyfish, jacks, mackerel. Golly, I love my life. Look at that gore. Ooh, ooh, that was a good hit I just missed. Come on, take it. Man, he took the bait, man. He took it. Look at that sunset. And the birds flying by. This is Florida at its finest right here. Oh, ho, oh, oh. just beautiful, man. Just beautiful. Heck yeah. Come on, bite my line one more time. We might be done here. Nope, there's a hit right there. There he is. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, we're going to get to add to the pile here. This is a good one. Spanish. He's acting just like a Spanish. Another good one. No, nope. little Jackie. Little Jackie. All right, guys, back at the house. I'm all cleaned up. We got to get the Spanish mackerel cleaned up, but I wasn't planning on having you guys over for dinner tonight. We got to get this mess cleaned up, too. All right, let's get on. All right, guys, we got a couple of nice Spanish mackerel here. We got to get them filleted up. Now, I already made a video a while ago on how to fillet Spanish mackerel. I'll put a link up in this video. You guys can go check that out if you want to do a little fillet job on your mackerels. We're going, we're going to do up some Mexican style tonight. A little fish taco going on here. I did this one time before, but I'm going to switch the recipe up this time and uh, do it just a little bit different. Still gonna have some delicious ingredients though. It is fall in Southwest Florida. This is the time of year, you guys, when the greenback shiners start showing up in the surf on the beach here. And uh, when that happens, the Spanish mackerel and the ladyfish and the jacks and other fish start showing up too. And the freaking birds start showing up too. They, are, they can be such a pain in the butt sometimes. But it is a lot of fun. You just go out there with a quarter inch mesh cast net and it didn't take me any, any time at all to find greenback shiners. I, I first found them, I was, I was looking for them, and I found them in the surf, and I cast them on them. I got, a, got several dozen that way, but then I had a bunch of little ones, so I decided to cast net some more. Well, then I just started blind throwing the cast net. I threw the cast net three times, and two times I got greenback shiners. And the, the, the uh, second time then, I got some really nice ones. But... Yeah, there's greenback shiners all over the beach, so you just get out there, throw your cast net, and today I was using like one aught owner, or number one and one aught owner hooks, and also I had some eagle claw, but I think next time I go out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a number one long shank hook, a long shank hook, because these Spanish mackerel, I'm just using like 25 pound test, that long shank hook will help against the Spanish mackerel's teeth cutting the line. <laughs> All right, I got these guys filleted up. Let's move on. I'm going to actually fry it. I've never fried Spanish mackerel, but I thought, well, we'll try it leaving the skin on. See how that works. I'll let you know. That's yeah, probably enough oil. Look at what the heck. That's oil. JC. <laughs> what a mess. I wonder if the guy that invented Armor All spilled oil on his stovetop and got it all polished up. And he was like, oh, we should create a product like that and call it Armor All. I have a batter mixture that I make myself and um, it's just bizquick. I do like half bizquick 
and then I measure out half all-purpose white flour. So when you guys cook bacon, how do you like to cook your bacon? Do you like to cook it in the microwave, in the oven? Do you like to cook it stove top? I like to cook it in the microwave. <laughs> and we have avocados. How can you tell when an avocado is ripe? Right now, my kitchen smells like bacon. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking delicious. Spanish mac and the egg and the flour bizquick mix. Flop that around a little bit. Give them a drop. Give them a drop. First batch is starting to look pretty good. That's, that's about the color I like them right there. Kind of a dark golden brown. You have to cook Spanish mackerel fresh. It's actually, it, it's very tasty, you guys. Fried Spanish mackerel. A little bit mushy. I mean, snook has a nice firm meat, but mackerel has all that omega-3 oils in it. It's supposed to be good for you. But yeah, actually fried mackerel, this is pretty tasty. Not bad. All right, here we go with the goodness. I'm going to start here with some fish. I think we'll add a little bit of cilantro in there. Some avocado. Cheddar cheese. A little bit of shredded cheddar. A little bit of blue, cr blue cheese crumbles. Just a little bit of blue cheese. Not much. That stuff is really strong. We got the uh, crumbled up bacon. A little bit of lime juice. A little bit of salsa. And the final secret goodness little bit of sriracha not much because this stuff will burn you up that is the best taco you'll ever had in your have in your life right there mm. oh my gosh best fish tacos on the planet the best fish tacos on the planet i'm telling you it's like a fourth of july fireworks celebration going on in your mouth you can taste the bacon the fish the blue cheese the cheddar cheese Mmm. Oh my gosh. You gotta try these. I'm not kidding you guys. You gotta try this recipe for fish tacos. It's out of this world. Out of this freaking world. Well guys, we got an unboxing video coming pretty soon. A subscriber is sending me some stuff from a kayak. Really excited about that. I got a couple of the packages here already. And also I have some stuff that I've ordered from Amazon to get the fish finder rigged up on the kayak. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that pretty soon too. And I am definitely getting back on these Spanish mackerel out on the beach real soon. Thanks for coming along for this adventure. Thumbs up or appreciated. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.